All right, so <coughs> let's check this guy out. And we need to do some factoring, right? We need to be able to find a common denominator. But you know, even before I do that, though, there is one thing I want to point out <coughs> here so that we don't lose it while we're doing everything else. And it's this minus sign right here. A lot of students will miss the minus. So if I go ahead and change this to a plus and just put the minus up here with the x, then I won't forget about that guy later. I know what you're thinking, that song in your head. Don't you forget about me. Factor these denominators, no? What do you um, take? What do you take in the morning? Uh, I take uh, generic Claritin. Take less. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just going to go ahead and factor this for you since you're uh, already harassing me. You already did it. Fantastic. What'd you get for the second guy? Uh, x plus four, x plus two. X plus four, x plus two. What about the last denominator? It's almost too easy, isn't it? Although if you get one of these signs wrong or one of these numbers wrong, you're in deep trouble. We gotta put in those missing factors. So what's missing here in this first guy that everybody else has? Four. We're missing the factor of x plus four, so put that in the denominator and the numerator. What is the middle guy missing? X plus three. He's missing the x plus three. And finally, the last guy is missing what? He's missing the factor of x plus 2. Did I put in the missing factors correctly? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, check this out. x plus 4 over x plus 4 is 1. x plus 3 over x plus 3 is 1. This is also 1, so I'm not changing anything here. I'm rewriting this so that everybody has the same denominator. And so here is that common denominator. Your job now is to worry about those numerators. Multiply out those numerators and tell me what we get. What's this first numerator? What does he become? 3x plus 12. 3x plus 12. What about the middle guy? <coughs> 7x plus 21. Plus 7x plus 21. And the last guy? Minus x squared <laughs> minus 2x. Minus x squared minus 2x. Make sure that this x does distribute to both of those. A lot of students will tell me x squared and then 2 instead of 2x. Well, the next thing I need to do is to combine like terms in the numerator. So what do I get? 8x <coughs> plus 33 minus x squared. Well, let's write this in descending order with the highest degree term negative first. X so negative x squared, that means I've used this guy. I've got 3, 7 minus 2 for the x is how much? And then 12, 21 is 33. Now, it's at this point that a lot of people will probably just put a box around this. I mean, it feels good. You just can't wait to put a box around it, and you're happy. However, there's more that can be done in that numerator, right? If you just take this numerator off to the side, just give him, just have a little talk with him, have a little chat. He leads off with a negative, and I told you I don't like you leading off with a negative, so I'm going to factor out the negative, and what would you have left? X squared. X squared minus 8x minus 33. Can you do anything with this guy? <coughs> the negative is still out there. How does that factor? <coughs> what are the numbers that multiply to give you 33? So x minus 11, x plus 3. Is that factorization useful for me in this problem? Check this out. I've got a plus 3 and I've got a plus 3. So this is going to be awesome. So let me rewrite this. <coughs> in that numerator, it's a negative times the factors x minus 11 and x plus 3 all over x plus 2, x plus 3, x plus 4. <coughs> so you see, here is an example where we do want to factor because we actually get something to reduce away. And it's that factor of x plus 3. So when it's all said and done, <coughs> my final answer is a negative times the factor x minus 11 over the remaining factors in the denominator x plus 2 
and x plus 4. Is this factor of negative important to have then? Yes, if you don't have it, you're wrong. Now, here's something that you may see if you come across this problem, say, in my math lab or in the textbook. You may see it rewritten with the negative right out in front of that fraction at the same level as the fraction. You just have the factor without the parentheses in the numerator, x minus 11, and then the two factors in the denominator, x plus 2 and x plus 4. This is also a valid way of writing your answer. So you can just move the negative right out in front like I have here.